Good morning. So I want to talk about this video I saw in the most unexpected of places that hit me right in the feels. And I think it's, it's something I've been thinking about more and more. It's very personal to me, but it's also relevant to you no matter where you are, okay? So the video I saw, again, most unexpected of places, I saw it on Sam Hyde's channel, okay? Sam Hyde puts up a video on his YouTube channel. I mean, most of his stuff I think he paywalls, but he still has a YouTube channel. And he puts up this video saying, oh, I got an email or, or someone contacted me. And they said, hey, Sam, you're really cool. Hey, thanks a lot. You inspired me to start smoking weed. And, you know, Sam does this video saying, okay, listen, I, I don't know where you got this idea. Maybe I made a joke about something like this, but I don't smoke weed. I've never smoked weed. I don't endorse it. It's not a good thing. No one in my life has ever been positively affected by it. It's a, it's a bad idea, basically. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that really got me thinking because, you know, it's very rare that Sam Hyde ever breaks character whatsoever. I don't know, maybe he was on just some intensely high level of irony that I didn't even detect, but it was a very genuine video. And it got me thinking because this actually drives me nuts nowadays. I feel like I have to deal with the same kind of thing. I mean, I, I don't do like edgy comedy or something like that. Um, so, you know, maybe, maybe a little less extreme in my case, but let me, let me give you a personal example. It, it's actually going to be an awkward example because he's probably going to be watching this video, but, um, you know, uh, I, I think about my little brother, okay? So I have a little brother, in case you don't know. Is that a cat? Um, I have a little brother, and, um, you know, uh, when I was in high school, I'll just say this. When I was in high school, I sort of hung out with, like, not necessarily terribly bad kids but like stoners and uh you know we used to skip lunch me me and another group of friends used to skip lunch and go like freestyle rap and stuff like that and uh you know i was never like a bad kid in high school i, I sort of held uh i mean i was a little rough around the edges and stuff but you know i cursed and you know i was a little edgy but like i never really did drugs i never did any of this kind of stuff um but the thing is, I used to make jokes about stuff like that, or uh, I would be really light. I, I would have a lot of levity when talking about topics like that, or, you know, I'd listen to rap music and I'd, you know, talk about the, the content of it. Like, it, it was nothing, you know what I mean? Um, and I did that around my little brother a, a whole lot, and he was in middle school at the time. We actually never went to high school at the same time. I'm a, I'm a little bit older than him. But I realized when I left home and when I l went to college, and came back, I realized that he had basically internalized, because basically he saw the stuff that I was talking about, and he was like, oh, this must be cool. So this is something I'm really going to take serious and run with. So he, let's just say that, you know, he ended up making a long series of extremely stupid life decisions. There were many times that he came home and he was like, oh man, I've ruined my life this time. And, um, and it, he did some pretty, I mean, I, I'm, he didn't kill anyone, but let's just say he, he put a bunch of hurdles in front of his life that he didn't have to do. And to this day, you know, I don't know, like 10 years later, he is still dealing with those hurdles. You know, I mean, it's not to say he's living on the street or something like that. He's, he's fine, but let's just say he still has some of the vices that he, you know, got during this period, uh, or if anything, they've gotten worse. Um... So, you know, none of this is to say that I'm, like, personally responsible for him, but I will say, even though I, I'm not personally responsible for him, obviously, uh, it does keep me up, because in some sense, you know, I do have a responsibility to set an example, and, uh, you know, I failed to do that. I failed to uh, make it clear what actually is okay to do or what isn't okay to do. Um, now, this actually keeps me up a whole lot nowadays, not just about him, but just in general, about, you know, what, what do people make out about me given what they see, me, see about me on the internet? You know, many of you guys know that when I first started my channel, you know, let's say we did live streams, I, didn't ha I would have no qualms about, like, cursing on live streams or, like, talking about sort of degenerate topics. Now, of course, in all those cases, it would always, been, it would always be like, oh, like, um, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, my friends used to do drugs, th this is stupid, or... Uh, you know, I had sex with a girlfriend, and that was stupid. But, like, I know that a lot of people, just by the mere fact that, you know, you're talking about stuff like that, it, it seems like either it's an endorsement or that's supposed to be a normal thing. And the nutty thing is nowadays, you can literally just turn on the media, okay? I mean, put yourself in the shoes of, like, a, a Zoomer, like a, a uh, you know, a teenager nowadays. The, uh, turn on the media, and what kind of messaging do you see? You see, you know, every show has, like, eight-year-old kids like, cursing profusely, um, y you know, everyone's having sex when they're 13, um, and no one has any, like, uh, there's no such thing as loyalty or anything like that. 
Uh, marriage doesn't even matter. Um, you know, everyone's doing drugs, especially smoking weed, and everyone who does so is just like su successful and smart and edgy. And if that's the messaging that kids are getting, and they have no, you know, real reality-based alternative to that, like they they have no proper way of diagnosing what's going on in the world. You know what I mean? I mean, all those friends of mine who I said, oh, they weren't that bad. You know, they were just stoners or something like that. I should say, when I graduated from high school, when I when I left literally one year at college and I came back to see my friends, literally half of them had started doing heroin. I mean, it's insane. Like heroin, when I was a kid, heroin was a drug, oh, you just made jokes about because no one would be so stupid to do that. But now that's like a normal thing for, I mean, normal, quote unquote. Now it's, I, I mean, let's just say people who do that kind of stuff don't last very long. Um, but uh, that's a thing that, uh, you know, because people were inundated in this culture that, of course, as kids, we mocked. Oh, yeah, like, rap music, rap music is going to affect me. Oh, yeah, like, you know, I'm not influenced by culture or something like that. And then you realize, like, literally all everyone around here is just, like, that impressionable. It drives you nuts. I don't know. I, I sort of feel like I was, I, I was the odd man out because I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about this kind of stuff, but, you know, I don't condone it or something like that. Or obviously I wouldn't do something that stupid. Uh, but of course, even even I did stupid stuff, just not anything quite that bad. Um, so anyway, all of this is to say that just to be clear, hold high moral standards for yourself. Don't just do that, but try, you know, not, I'm not telling you to lie about anything, but be sure to state your your actual views on the kind of things that like kids see in culture. You know what I mean? Because it, ideally... I mean, in an ideal world, of course, you don't even have this messaging from the media going on, but, you know, at least you should have, like, oh, parents or, like, churches or, like, uh, you know, kids who are a little bit older who know a little bit more setting explicitly a positive example. Even just telling people you shouldn't actually do this actually goes a long way. You know, when I was a kid, our parents, and this is the fact of the matter of a bunch of parents, a bunch of parents are just cucked. A bunch of churches are just cucked nowadays. They're too afraid to, like, tell their kids basic stuff like, oh, it's a bad idea to do this. It's a bad idea to do that. Because they, are, they know that if they even give children like a basic, like common sense moral guidance, just like don't, don't do drugs or something like that, that is something that's so relentlessly mocked by the media that they feel like they're undermining their own authority in doing it, okay? But that's a risk you're just going to have to take. You're just going to have to learn how to do that because, you know, the media is so antisocial nowadays that, I mean, that's just what you have to do. Um, and, and honestly, on that point, it, it's becoming increasingly hard for me to think that, you know, the people who run the media are just like, oh, honestly out of touch, or they just have gif different worldviews or something like that. It honestly seems like they're trying to tell kids to just make the worst decisions in their life. I mean, I don't know how anyone could even watch television and think, oh, this is like a gritty, you know, uh, representation of life. It isn't. It's like people trying to make life evil and trying to tell people that, Oh, this is a normal thing to do. Um, so, anyway, so just to be clear, I'll close this video by saying, just to be clear, this this channel is unironically a Christian channel. Uh, there, don't do drugs, in case that isn't obvious. Don't coom to porn, especially don't coom to porn. That's like that's a big one. Um, and don't do anything like in general degenerate. And you know what's degenerate usually. I mean, and, and the fact of the matter is, a lot of is is I don't know overcoming your own concupiscence, I suppose. Um, but anyway, I don't know. I should do another video on this, but uh, hopefully that's enough. That's just something I've been thinking about.